Bournemouth man who has been fighting IS in Syria has died. Residents in Bournemouth are to receive compensation after power cuts over the weekend. And Boscombe surf reefs is no more after Storm Brian takes its toll. It's four o'clock, I'm Ryan Evans. The top story today. A British former IT worker who has been fighting IS in Syria has been killed whilst clearly clearing landmines in Raqqa. It is understood that Jack Holmes, aged 24 from Bournemouth, died in an explosion as his sniper unit cleared mines. Buzz News spoke to Jack's best friend and colleague, Ozkan Ozdil. He was a happy-go-lucky. He, he loved life. He's always made plans to go out and do something. You know, he tried to make it look like he didn't care, but he'd always be looking after everyone. Even if you knew in only five minutes, he'd, um, you know, have something to talk about with you. Just a lovely bloke. He would, he would talk to people on behalf of everyone. He would be the fixer if anyone needed anything. We, we want to celebrate his life and his achievements more than anything. Bournemouth residents are to receive compensation after a power surge that left 470 properties without power this weekend. The surge affected homes in St Clement's Gardens, Walpole Road and Hamilton Road on Friday. Earlier I was joined by reporter Chloe Randall to tell us more and started by asking what the cause of the power cut was. The Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks have said the full cause is not yet known. Were there any effects as a result of the power surge? Power, the power surge caused faults in fuse boxes, filled some homes with smoke and started a fire on a roof in Hamilton Road. When did power resume in the area? Power resumed in 200 homes on Saturday, but for the remaining homes it wasn't until late Sunday afternoon after engineers had carried out safety checks. The firm have said they're in process of contacting the 300 households eligible for compensation. Storm Brian hit over the weekend, leaving Boscombe's ill-fated surf reef in tatters. The reef, which was declared useless in 2016, has now been ripped apart by the storm's gale force winds, which hit the south coast. The textile containers which hold the reef together can now be found high and dry on Boscombe Beach. With the remains of the artificial reef now left dumped on the shoreline, action will need to be taken by the council in order to clear up the mess, as it is now an unnecessary eyesore for all beachgoers to see. I'm Emily Potter for Buzz News. The coroner for Dorset is seeking public assistance to help find the next of kin of a man who died in Bournemouth. David William King died on the 4th of October at his home address. Isn't being treated as suspicious. Any relative or friend is asked to contact the coroner's office and details can be found on the Dorset Police website. Refill Dorset is a scheme to provide the public with practical and convenient tap water, all for free. The campaign aims to reduce the use of throwaway plastic bottles as well as keeping the public hydrated. A local cafe owner explains why she's been pleased to be part of the campaign. I think free, free tap water should be available for everybody. So on a hot sunny day, you need a glass of water, you can come in and help yourself. I mean, being hydrated, staying healthy is really important. And also for the environment, obviously, to prevent everybody from buying a one-use-only plastic bottle that you're going to put in the bin and end up in floating in the sea at some point. Officers in Bournemouth are releasing a CCTV image of a suspect after a burglary at a house along Kinston Road. The incident happened on the evening of Wednesday the 23rd of August or the morning of Thursday the 24th. A quantity of jewellery and a bank card was stolen from the property. Police believe this card was used by the burglar at a nearby cash point outside Tesco on Wimborne Road. Dorset Police are urging anyone with information to contact them. Police have said that crime is on the rise, following a string of recent reported incidents in the Lansdowne area. Buzz reporter Ben Coley is there now with more. A total of 687 crime incidents in Bournemouth have been reported by a police crime map in August this year. That includes 42 violent crimes here on the Holdenhurst Road between June and August, as well as 21 and 30 incidents on Christchurch Road and Lansdowne's and Lansdowne Crescent, respectively. These stats have arrived after a man in his 20s was found unconscious here on Holdenhurst Road this weekend. The fact that the council plan to build a multi-million pound business investment here at Lansdowne Crescent 
it certainly is going to cause some concerns for residents here in Bournemouth. Ben Coley, Buzz News. The Odeon Cinema Complex in the BH2 Complex is recruiting 20 new members of staff due to its success in the first year. Over half a million customers have enjoyed the state-of-the-art iSense screen and luxury recliner seats since the cinema opened in February. They currently employ 50 members of staff and the company has been listed as one of the Sunday Times' 30 best big companies to work for. Some more bus passengers will see an increase in ticket prices from Sunday. All zones will be affected by the price increase, but the worst affected will be passengers using the 30-day pass for the M1 and M2 zones, which will be increased from £40 to £46. NHS Improvement has found that 280,000 more non-emergency operations could be carried out every year if organisation was better handled. The study also shows that Bournemouth and Christchurch hospitals need to improve waiting times to meet the national targets. The A&E department as well as planned operations and care need particular attention. Stephen Wright has more. 95% of A&E patients should be seen within four hours of GP referral. That's the national target that Bournemouth and Christchurch hospitals are failing to meet. Despite having 94.5% of its patients being seen within the time frame, Bournemouth and Christchurch hospitals rank 16th out of 134 UK trusts in this department. The national average is 89.7%. Meanwhile, Dorset County Hospital ranks second in the UK with 98% of its A&E patients being seen within four hours of GP referral. Planned operations and care is another area that requires improvement in Bournemouth and Christchurch hospitals. 91.8% of patients are seen within 18 weeks of referral. That's 0.2% short of the target. Nonetheless, this figure is still higher than the national average of 89.4%. One department in which Bournemouth and Christchurch hospitals excel in is cancer care, as 89.8% .8 of these patients are seen within 62 days of urgent GP referral. That's 4.8% ahead of the national target and 7.2% of the national average. There have been calls for more support for patients suffering from dementia after Alzheimer's Research UK revealed that Christchurch is one of the UK hotspots for the disease. Jake Stolte reports. Statistics have shown that Christchurch is the highest number of dementia sufferers per head with 2.81%. New Forest West came in second in all constituencies in the Bournemouth and Poole area was in the top third nationwide. Joanna House lost her great-grandmother to the disease and believes more could be done to help sufferers and their families. Well, she was becoming like quite aggressive and well, it was unusual. So we ended up taking her to the doctors and finding out how she, like, she had Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, and then from that, really, over the next few years, she just went downhill and um, we were caring for her 24-7. She just didn't remember anywhere. She thought it was a hotel. So it, it was quite devastating, really. Like her being bathed, um, food being cooked for her. It was all done by the family. To be honest, like, the NHS could have done a little bit more. They could, we could have had a bit more support because it was a lot for us all to take on, especially seeing her like such a very strong woman. And she was just so independent to just see her going downhill and having other people like doing everything for her. In a statement, the Dorset CCG spokesperson said they regard dementia services as a top priority. They are currently undergoing a comprehensive review across the whole of Dorset in order to work with local people suffering with dementia to ensure they have the best outcomes and services available. Jake Stolte, Buzz News. In sport, championship side Middlesbrough are the visitors to the Vitality Stadium tonight to play AFC Bournemouth in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. The Cherries beat Brighton and Hove Albion 1-0 in the third round back in September. Eddie Howe could bring Callum Wilson, who has been injured since February, back into the squad. Kick-off is at 7.45pm. Paul Town will travel to Wiltshire side Downton in the Bournemouth Senior Cup quarter-finals tonight. The Dolphins will field a team with an average age of just 18. Kickoff is at 7:45 p.m. and an away tie with Bashley is awaiting the victors in November. And now for the weather. That's all for now. For the latest news, head to our website. Goodbye.